Alright, welcome back for part 3 of my chicken coop build. I have a lot of things I have to finish up in this video. I've got the metal roofing, the nesting box, the cedar siding and trim, and the run itself. It's going to be a long one, so grab yourself a cold beer and a snack, and let's get after it. Alright, so I thought I'd give you a quick update on where I'm at. So the exterior is sheeted um, with OSB minus the clean outside. I'm gonna, it's gonna be kind of a, a piecemeal job there. So yeah, so I'm getting ready to install my cedar planks and I'll go through. I made a couple uh, chalk lines. I got a, a 36 inch chalk line so that these will sit flush to the bottom. I'm trying to maximize my, maximize my yield of my wood that I have. So I cut them at 36 inches and then I'll cut another set to follow the, the peak of the roof. And then I made another vertical line here um, to help me line up my first board because it's gonna have to overhang the side, the parallel side to it, um, kind of like this. So I kind of cheated it over so it'll cover up the, this side when I go to sheet that. Place and then shimmy around it to get it centered and where it's free floating. 
inside this window. I've installed some stops back here so that when I put the door in, it will sit flush with the face of the, the coupe. Um, and then after that, what I'm gonna do is on the inside, I'm gonna drive um, some screws in to hold the doors in place and fixed. That way I can finish my siding, put all the siding on, put my hinges on, and then take those screws out and I should have a perfectly uh, aligned door in this coupe. Take it.
other thing I want to add is I am not a professional roofer. In fact, I know nothing about roofing. So for all you roofers out there, layoff. I, I know I probably made a hundred mistakes, but at the end of the day, this is a chicken coop. So I think I lost some of my footage of me actually uh, assembling the run, but it's pretty basic. Three sides, screwed it together. Now I'm working on getting it all leveled to the chicken coop itself. So what I'm doing is placing rocks underneath it, um, checking for level as I go around. And once I get a nice happy medium, then I'll go through, take some of that, that dirt that I excavated out, and I'll slough it down the sides here. So that way when I move the rocks, it'll have a nice level platform. Throw it down here, okay?
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be addressing is underneath the chicken coop itself. Um, I made it elevated so it's about 20 inches off the ground. Um, so the chickens can walk underneath that. Um, but what I have to do is I've got to enclose it with some more chicken wire. So I'll be using some two by material to make a simple rectangle for all three of the sides that need to be enclosed. We're going to call this chicken coop build complete. So real quick, the overall dimensions is 10 feet long by 6 feet wide. And the coop itself is 5 feet long by 4 feet wide with the addition of the underneath space the chickens can walk around in. Here at the rear, I've got my nesting boxes, which are pretty typical. It's got a standard flip top style lid that allows me access to the eggs. And here on this side, I've got a series of doors. The upper two are French style doors that allow me um, full access to the inside of the coop for thorough cleanings. And this lower single door um, opens up and allows me access to some clean out pans for when I need to do my bedding changes. Now the run itself is only 56 inches tall, which would make it kind of inconvenient for when I needed to clean it or do the food and watering. So I made the lid on it an accordion style door that lifts up and folds back on itself. That way I can access the run without having to crouch down. So in the next couple weeks, I plan on doing a full review of the likes and dislikes of the coop and a more in-depth of some of the features. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.